what it says. All things are possible when we believe old chains are unbreakable. When we receive your way, you keep your promises. If you said it, we believe it. If you said it, hey, if you said it, we believe it.
gospel. Amen. Share what God is doing in this hour. Amen. Come on in. Come on in. Amen. We see, 
amen, that the year is rapidly closing, amen, on tonight, amen, Christmas is just, amen, a, a day, a couple days away, amen, and next week, amen, we're going in, amen, to uh, New Year's on the 31st, if the Lord, amen, spare our lives, and so, amen, this season uh, of, of 2020 is rapidly closing, and yet we're still trusting and believing in God. Amen. We've come this far by faith. This tonight is part three, amen, of this lesson. Amen. Part three of this lesson. Amen. Kingdom authority. Kingdom authority. Taking your rightful place. Amen. Kingdom authority. Amen. Taking your rightful place. How many know tonight, amen, we're going to take our rightful place and we're going to see what God has to say about it, amen, on tonight and what he has established in our life, amen, because we're leaning and we're trusting and we're depending on him. And on tonight, before we go into the word of God, as you turn to the scriptures, amen, we want you to sow a seed on tonight. You can sow a seed Amen. Four ways on tonight you can sow a seed. Amen. You can go to our cash app. Amen. Dollar sign light L I G H T four seven zero one. Again, that's dollar sign light L I G H T four seven zero one. All right. And you can also amen go to PayPal www paypal me forward slash l o t w c church. Again, that is PayPal, www.paypal.me, amen, forward slash L-O-T-W-C, church, all together, amen. You can give, amen, amen, tonight on our Tithely app. You can download the Tithely app, amen, T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y. Download the app, amen, tonight and sow your seed to Light of the World Church Incorporated. Amen. You can also, amen, give on tonight, uh, sow your seeds by mailing in, amen, your seeds to Light of the World Incorporated. Amen. Our physical address is 4701 North 15th Street, Tampa, Florida, 33610. All right, and you can also mail in, amen, to our P.O. Box, P.O. Box 75782, Tampa, Florida, 33675. Again, that's P.O. Box 75782, Tampa, Florida, 33675. Amen. So we bless the name of God. Amen. And we're going to go right into the word of God on tonight. Amen. We want to go into the word of God and we're going to go to Romans, amen, the eighth chapter, amen, and starting at the 13th verse. And so we bless the name of God, amen, for in this season, amen, we have trusted God all the way up to this point in this year. And God has blessed us and God has established us and God has not forgotten about us. Amen. And even though things are rough, and even though things, amen, seemed like they were, uh, uh, we were going to go down, but God held us up. Why? Because we held to the faith. Why? Because in spite of what we lost, in spite of who we lost, we still are holding on to God's unchanging hand. And that's the thing that's going to get you over to your next season. That's what's going to get you over to your next move of God in your life is your constant faith in God, your constant faith, your constant faith and believing that he is. This is the word of God that tells us that he that cometh to him must first believe that he is, first of all, God, a God, amen, he, that he is God. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right. And so we're, we're not going to be cast to the side. We're not going to uh, 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 forget who God is. We're not going to lean to the arms of man. But we're going to keep leaning 
and trusting in God. But why? Because our help, amen, cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And so we serve a God on tonight, amen, that can turn our midnight into day. We serve a God that can bless us, amen, even in our times of trouble. And so tonight, that's what we're going to lean and trust and depend on God, amen, like never before. And though, amen, we were saying last week, amen, through the good, through the bad, we're still going to trust God. Why? Because our, our faith relies in God. It does not rely in man. It does not rely in the power of man because the power of man can only go so far. The wisdom of man can only go so far. But the wisdom and the power of God is infinite. In other words, it does not run out. Man's resources will run out on you tonight. Amen. Man's resources, amen, can, is limited. But God has unlimited power. God has power beyond our, we can even imagine. And so tonight, that's the faith we're going to hold on to. That's what we're going to believe that he can heal us. That's what we're going to believe that he can bring us out. We're going to believe our faith cannot be shaking in this season. If you're going to get anything from God, as we were talking about last week, if you're going to get anything from God, your faith has to remain constant. If you're going to get anything from God, your faith has to believe in him that he will, amen, bless us and he will, amen, come and see about us. And so we want to go, amen, to the word of God on tonight. Amen. We want to go to the word of God on tonight. Romans, the eighth chapter. Amen. And we're going to start, amen, at the 13th verse. And uh, we're going to go down. And for, it says, for if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many are led by the spirit of God, there are the sons of God. And it says in verse 15, for... Ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. All right. And then verse 16 says, and the spirit itself bears witness with the spirit that we are the children of God. All right. Watch verse 17. Verse 17 says, and if children then heirs, and heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, we, we that we may also glory, be glorified together. All right. And then it says in verse 18, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not, amen, worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestations, amen, of the sons of God. All right, and so that's what we're going to be going over tonight, amen, kingdom authority. You are joint heirs with Christ. You belong to Christ. You belong to him. You are a child of God. Let no one else tell you anything different that you are a born again child of God. And being a son of God, being a daughter of God, you have rights that others do not have. All right. You have rights, amen, to the kingdom, to the throne of God that no one else has. And you have a special privilege Amen tonight. And that's what we're going to talk about. Amen. Believing and trusting in God, you have a special privilege. Amen. Like no other, not like the sinner man, not like, amen, those that don't believe in God, not like those that are living in darkness. But for the Bible says that we are the children, 
amen, of the life, amen, we, we, we belongs to God, and so on tonight, that's what we're talking about, kingdom authority, you have to know, amen, your place in God, you have to regain, amen, your rightful place in the kingdom of God, yet, we're going through this pandemic. Yes, we're going through things that are hurting us. Yes, we have lost loved ones, but yet we still hold an authority in the kingdom of God. Why? Amen. Because we are joint heirs with him. Why? Because we are a priest, a royal priesthood. Why? Because we were born into the kingdom of God. And when you are a son and when you are a daughter, you have, amen, and like we said, a special privilege, amen, to the throne of God. All right. Now, listen. Now, listen. Let's go to the word. I want to talk about authority for a moment. Amen. I want to talk about authority. You're also going to be dealing with Luke, the 10th chapter and the 19th verse. And so I want to uh, say tonight, there are three things. I want you to listen to me carefully. There are three things that we must be aware of in order to use the authority of Jesus Christ that he has given us. All right. I'm going to say that again. There are three things that we must be aware of. Amen. In order to use the authority Christ has given us. All right. Now, I, I want you to go. Look at, look at this. Number one, we have to know what it is. We have to know what the authority is, what if, what specifically, amen, God has given us in, our, in, in, in authority. That's number one. Number two, we have to know that it belongs to us. There has to be no shadow of a doubt. There has to be no doubt in your mind that uh, authority belongs to you. You know, amen, without a shadow of a doubt. Let's look at this. You know without a shadow of a doubt that you belong to your mother and that you belong to your father, amen? You, you know them, amen, by you were born and you were taught, amen, by your mother. You were born from her flesh and you were taught, amen, by her and you know her. You know her voice. You know your father's voice. You know who they are, all right? You respect them. You were brought up in their house. And, you know, when you became uh, on your own, amen, you still go and see about mom. You still go and see about dad, those that still have their mothers and those that still have their fathers. But yet, you know you belong to him. You know you belong to your mother. And so the DNA says, amen, uh, that you belong to them, all right? So you know that you have a privilege, amen, in knowing them, uh, the privilege of, of knowing the wisdom and knowledge that they have instilled in you, amen, you, you know that. And so uh, no, one, no one can tell you anything different that you don't belong, to, amen, to them, all right? So you have to know that authority belongs to you. You have to know how to use authority, all right? You have to know how to use authority. So those are the three things. So tonight, what is authority, all right? And so we're going to go into this. What is authority? What authority has God given you, all right? Knowing him, knowing his power, knowing and being born of him, what authority do you have? And I want you to take a look at this, amen. Luke, the 10th chapter, and we're going to go back to uh, Romans in just a little bit, but I want you to turn your, your Bible, amen, to Luke, the 10th chapter and the 19th verse, all right? Luke, the 10th chapter and the 19th verse, and it talks about, amen, it says, Jesus told us, behold, I give you authority to trample over serpents and scorpions, and over all power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you, all right? And so what is authority? What is this authority, amen, Jesus is talking about here, all right? And so I want you to take a look at this analogy. The authority that Jesus is talking about 
and Luke the uh, tenth chapter is a, a brute force power. It is a power that is delegated. All right, much like a policeman possesses. Watch this analogy, Amen, that they're giving us tonight. All right, like a policeman uh, possesses. When a policeman steps out in the front of traffic, watch this, and holds up his hands, amen, to stop. He's not stopping cars or trucks with his brute own strength. When you see an officer in the middle of the road and he has his hands up, or if he's waving a baton, or, or if he have a, a, a stop sign or what have you, amen, you see that officer. And so what in your mind, amen, tells you to stop? What in your mind tells you, amen, that this officer has authority, amen, to stand in the middle of traffic and direct traffic, all right? And so, uh, listen to this, all right? And so, he's not stopping traffic, amen, with his physical strength. He's stopping them with the delegated authority that comes with wearing the uniform, all right, and he's back, amen, watch this, he's backed up by the law, all right, and so, you know, we, we can see tonight, amen, there's a lot of things going on in the world, and we can see there, there's some crooked policemen and, and all of that stuff, but we don't want to get in that tonight. I want you to take this analogy for what it is and look at this, all right, uh, and so the, what authority does he have? And so when he puts on that uniform, if he was standing in the middle of the street, amen, without a police uniform on or without any signal of a badge or any type of uniform, we would think that he is crazy and cars will still go on and he might get hit, all right? But when he puts on that uniform, when he puts on that badge, amen, it tells those that are watching that uniform and that badge that he has an authority, amen, and he's backed up, amen, by the court system, he's backed up, amen, by the police department, he has a special authority to do what he's doing, all right, and so he doesn't have to stop the cards with his hands, but he can hold up his hands, and those that are traveling in the direction that he's traveling, amen, slam on brakes, amen, or if he's directing you to go left or he's directing you to go right, the authority of his uniform, the authority of, 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 of the power that's been delegated to him by the police department, by the government, amen, uh, gives him the authority. That's the authority that uh, that Christ, amen, has given us. You are not stopping the force of darkness. Watch this. Oh, my God. You are not stopping the force of darkness, sickness, fear, uh, evil, lack of your own strength, but you're stopping it, amen, through the delegated authority given to you by Jesus Christ. Uh, all right, now, 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 now. So what is the authority? So the authority that Christ has, amen, uh, was established over years and years ago, amen, that uh the earth was created and was uh, the earth was in a uh, void and it was created, amen, by a voice of God, amen. It said, let there be light and light appear. All right. Light had to obey the voice of God. He was, he was God. He was create God in creation. And so even that authority, amen, is inside of us on tonight. And so that very same authority, he tells us in his word, amen, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And so what is that greater? That greater is the power of God that lies on the inside of us. 
that greater, that authority that you have, amen, to speak into your life. You don't have to wait for the prophet. You don't have to wait for the apostle, amen, but these are great people, a man of God's and woman of God that God has put in our life, and we don't want to downplay them, but yet, amen, you can speak life into your situation yourself. You can use the word of God on tonight and speak into your life, and it has to come to pass. Why? Because you have that authority. If you are born of him, first of all, if you are born of him and have the power of God, have the Holy Ghost, amen, down on the inside of you, that power, that dunamis power that on the inside of you, the power, amen, that came from heaven, from Acts, amen, in Acts, amen, that came down, amen, set upon them like clothing tongues, and they begin to speak in unknown tongues, that very same rushing power, amen, you have on the inside of you tonight, and you can speak and change things in your life. And so that's the authority that you have. You're backed up, amen, by no other greater power than the power of the Holy Ghost. You're backed up tonight by the power of God, amen, that lies in your life. That greater, amen, that's in you, that's what's backing you up. You ought to look at somebody in the room tonight and say, God has my back. You ought to type it on the screen tonight that God has my back. All right. And so I can speak into my life. I can speak those things as though they were. And that, that it has to happen. Why? Because the power of God, amen, lies on the inside of me. So I'm not stopping sickness. I'm not stopping fear. I'm not stopping evil. I'm not stopping the spirit of lack of my power, but I'm stopping it by the power of God. All right. And so not of my, my might, nor by my strength, nor by my power, but it's by the power, by the spirit, says the Lord. Amen. That's the word of God. And so we're, we're stopping the forces of darkness. Amen. By the power of God. All right. And so the power has been delegated. The power has been passed on to you. Amen. This power that God has given us, we have to take advantage of it. We have to use what God has given us to use. We have to recognize and come back in kingship where God, amen, had us from the beginning. All right. And so we know the story. We know the story with Adam and we know the story with Eve. God gave Adam, amen, dominion, amen, over the earth. And, and, and he gave him power to, to speak and name, amen, the things, amen, that was created. And so his power was diminished. His, his kingship, amen, was taken away from him, amen, by his disobedience. And so when you disobey God, when you don't follow his commandments on tonight, your power has been suppressed. Your power has been taken away from you. Your authority, amen, has been taken away from you when you walk in the spirit of disobedience. And so tonight, God, in his infinite wisdom, has restored us back into kingship fellowship, amen, through Jesus Christ. And that's where we come in at on tonight. Jesus dying on the cross for our sin, opening up the way that we may have a right to the tree of life. Not only have a right, amen, to the tree of life, but have a right to healing, to have a right to love, amen, to have a right to have peace in our life, amen. And everything that flows down from the throne of God, amen, we have the authority, amen, to have. And so we have the authority to speak into our life. We have the authority, amen, to speak, amen, peace be still in our life. We have the authority on tonight, amen, to uh, command healing to come into our life. But we have to be, the key is we have to be in the right standing with God. We have to be in the right standing with God, all right? And so uh, what is this authority? This authority, how amazing is that God's almighty, God's almighty himself is the power behind our authority. Ephesians 6 and 10 says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. 
That means you can step out in front of evil, hold up your hand and say, back up, Satan, back up, God has this. And so we're leaning and we're depending on God's power. It's not our power. If, if, if we, we can't heal anyone. We can't, we can't do anything without the power of God. All right. And so that's, that's what we're dealing with tonight. You got to realize who you are. You got to realize that you have power from God. Uh, uh, you can't elect situations, amen, put you in a, in, 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 in a, in a, a frame of mind, amen, that you don't have power. You have power. And it's time for us to use the power of God. It is time for us to step, amen, into the area of authority, into the area, amen, of kingship, amen, and take our rightful place in the kingdom of God, and, and God is going to do something great. All right. Now, the, the authority, number two, the authority belongs to you. All right. It belongs to you. It was given to you in, from the beginning. All right. Now the way has been made, amen, that we can come back in fellowship with him. All right. And, and through, amen, salvation, we can come back in fellowship with him. And it belongs to us. Look at what First Corinthians, amen. First Corinthians 12 and 20. Seven says that we are the body of Christ. Jesus is the head of the body, amen, and his authority is preparated through the body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, he transferred, watch this, he transferred his authority, amen, on earth to his body, the church, all right? And in God's mind, when Christ is raised, we are raised, all right? And so when Christ raised from the dead, uh, even before then, when he was baptized of John, watch this, the Bible said he came up out of the water. This was the spiritual death. He came up out of the water, amen, and a dove ascending from heaven and sat upon Jesus' shoulder. And a voice came from heaven and said, this is my well-beloved son whom I'm well and well pleased. All right. And so God is pleased with us when we do his will. All right. We are the body of Christ. Amen. We, we, we are the body of Christ. And so we are the light of the world. The Bible says we are the light of the world. Uh, and so if a light, if a light is hid on a, a bushel or if a light is hid in a house, how can it give light to the house? How can we give light to the world if we are hidden? How can we give light to the world, amen, if the power of God is not being exercised in our life? And so that light that we ought to be to the world is that authority that has already belongs to us, amen, and we ought to flow in the authority that God has given us. We ought to flow in the kingship that God has given us. It has been given back to us. We're, we're, we're now there. Uh, we're now there in the place where God wants us to be. Ephesians 2 and 6 said, and raised Christ from the dead along with Christ and seated uh, with us, it was with him in heavenly realms because we are united with Jesus Christ. Both the head, the body are, 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 are seated there next to God in the place of a power and authority. All right. That means that you are seated there. That means you are seated in the, the power of position and, and you are his heir. You are heir. And that's where we're going to go tonight in Romans. Romans the 18th. 8th chapter and the 17th verse. We're going to go there and do it in just a minute. You are an heir, a joint heir. Amen. Through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. You didn't have a right before the blood was shed. All right. You, you, were, you were not in fellowship with him. For the Bible, amen, tells us that light has no fellowship with darkness. Sin has no fellowship. God hates sin, amen. It stinks in his nostril. And so before then, we had no fellowship. 
but God made it possible, amen, he died on the cross, and that blood, amen, cleansed us, and now we have fellowship with him, now we are joint heirs with him, now we have access to the kingdom of God, I was preaching Sunday, amen, you have access, he died, amen, he was born to die, and you have access to the kingdom of God through his death. And through his resurrection, you have access to the kingdom, all right? You have access to, 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 to call those things as though, to be as though they were, all right? You have the access, amen? Type on the screen tonight, I have access. You got access to the kingdom. Now, how do we use this access? All right. How do we use this access? The door to exercising your authority. Watch this. The doors to exercising your authority in Christ in Ephesians 1 and 20 and verse 1 and 20. Amen. Chapter 1 and verse 20 and Ephesians 2 and 6. These uh, verses say that we are seated with God in Christ and encouraged to meditate on those things until they fully grasp in revelation that we are seated with him and ye are one uh, uh, and ye are the one he moves through. All right. And so the authority, then the adversity arises. Use your authority by speaking out what his word says what his word says, and that's how you use the authority of God, all right, and, and Jesus even showed us, even in the wilderness, how to use the authority, how to use the word of God, when Satan came to him, amen, commanded him, amen, to turn the stones into bread, commanded him to do all these things, and Jesus uh, gave him the word, he said, man shall not live, amen, by word alone, but by every word that proceed, bread alone, but by every word, amen, that proceeded out the mouth of God. So what, why did he tell Satan that? He had to make Satan realize that it is not the material thing that's going to keep us. It is not the material thing that's going to keep you in this hour. What's going to keep you in this hour is your continuous faith in God. What's going to keep you in this hour is your authority, knowing that you belong to God. And what's going to keep you is giving Satan the word, giving your situations the word, giving your, your atmosphere the word, and your atmosphere has to obey. Listen, 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 listen. The, look, notice what I said earlier. The earth was void. There was nothing here. There was nothing here. The Bible said the spirit of the Lord moved on the face of the water. It was void. In other words, there was nothing here. There was nothing in existence. Amen. It was black. It was darkness. But a voice was spoken by God that said, let there be light. And the word of God said, light appeared. Light had to come. What am I telling you? Amen. The authority you have is to let, amen, say let it be. Amen. Say let it be. Let it be. That's the authority that you have to say let it be. The Bible said God said let it be and light appeared. You ought to type on the screen on tonight and say God let it be. Uh, and so God is going to transfer some things in your life, amen, tonight, if you use the authority, amen, that God has given you. And that's what you got to do. Use the authority. And so Jesus, amen, gave Satan the word, amen. You can't give the devil something off the top of your head and think he's going to obey you. You got to give him the word. He has to obey the word. He has to obey. He has to become subject, amen, to the word. He has to become subject, amen, to the power of God that lies on the inside of you. Your atmosphere has to become subject, amen, to your voice. Come on. Your, 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 uh, your atmosphere has to become subject, amen, to the power of God. Your body, the aches and the pains that you have in your body has to become subject, amen, to the power of God. 
And so that's what we're dealing with tonight. And Jesus made it clear. Watch what Jesus said. Jesus made it clear that it is in his name is the key to all authority. It ain't in my name. It, 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 ain't in the, it ain't in the greatest preacher's name. It's not in the greatest prophet's name. It's not in your pastor's name. It's not, amen, in, in the doctor's name, in the lawyer's name, in the government's name. But the power and the authority lies in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch what he said. Watch what he says. John 13 and 13 and 14. He said, whatsoever you ask in my name, that I will do. That the Father may be, glor be glorified in the Son. And if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. All right, it has to be asked in the name of Jesus. There's power in his name. His name is above every name, amen. And so in his name, this is the authority you have tonight uh, to ask it in his name. Now, while you, before you even ask it in his name, you got to believe it's already done. You got to believe it's already taken place. You got to believe that the problem's already solved. You got to believe that you're coming out on the other side. You got to believe, amen, that you got to believe the report of the Lord. Listen, in the name of Jesus, all right? And then Acts, the third chapter, when Peter, amen, encountered to lame man, watch what he said. Uh, when Peter, amen, and John encountered the lame man at the gate, beautiful, they said, in the name of Jesus, they didn't say in my name. They didn't say we were disciples and I command you. No, they didn't say that. The Bible said, they said, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And the Bible said the man got up and he did what? He took up his bed and he walked. It wasn't their own authority. It was on the authority of God that the man was raised uh, from his, his current position. And God's going to raise you. Amen. From your current position, amen, your current position of downtroddenness, your current position, amen, of depression, your current uh, position, amen, of failure. God is going to, on tonight, amen, lift you up when you use his name. And he's going to he's going to put you in a place, amen, that nobody can put you in but him. I love God. God will put you in a place where where people think you are not to be. God will put you there and he'll establish you. He'll establish your going and he'll establish your coming and people can't do nothing about it. God is going to put you. I'm talking to somebody tonight. God is going to put you in a place, amen, that people are going to marvel at the power of God. When God uh, do something, it is good and it's very good. All right. It is good and it's very good. And so that's the authority, amen, we're dealing with tonight. And so I read earlier, we're going back to Romans, amen, and we're going to wrap this thing up. We're going back to Romans, amen, Romans, the eighth chapter on tonight, Romans, the eighth chapter and we're going back to the 13th verse, and we read the King James Version, amen, on uh, uh, earlier. And I want to read, amen, God's Word's translation. I love, I love this uh, 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 application of the Word of God, amen, God's Word's translation, Romans, the 8th chapter and the 13th verse. Now, I want you to listen to this. I want you to listen to this. Listen to this. Uh, it says, amen, if you have translation on your phone, Amen. Go to God's words translation, and we're going to Romans the eighth chapter and the thirteenth verse. Listen to what this says: If you live by your corrupt nature, you are going to die. Powerful. But if you use your spiritual nature to put to death the evil activities of the body, you will live. I'm going to read that again. If you live by corrupt nature, you're going to die. But if you use your spiritual nature 
to put to death the evil activities of the body, ye will live. Watch what verse 14 says. Certainly all who are guided by the Spirit, God's Spirit, are the children of God. You, you haven't, watch this, you haven't received the spirit of slaves that leads you into fear again. Instead, you have received the spirit of God, adopted children by which we call out Abba Father. The spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are the children of God. So how do you know you're a child of God? The Spirit of God verifies that you are a child of God with your spirit that we are the children of God. And that's how you know that you belong to God. Nobody, nobody got to tell you. Nobody got to put no oil on you. And nobody got to, nobody got to speak in tongues over you to tell you you are a child of God. The Spirit of God that lies on the inside of you is going to verify with the Spirit of God uh, it, there's, they're, 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 they're of the same spirit, and it's going to verify that you are a child of God. And how do you know you're walking in the authority? Is when you speak and it happens. How do you know you're walking in the authority? When you, when you call upon him and he comes, all right? That's when you know, amen, you have the spirit of God lying on the inside of you. Now, now we have to go into the revelation of this, that we have to go through trials. We have to go through tribulations. It's not to say that God is not with us. It's not to say that God is not even with us in this pandemic. Because some of us could have died, amen, if it was not for the hand of God. And some had died, and we have to accept, amen, what God allowed to happen in our lives, amen, who was taken away from us. And for God knows everything, every perfect, everything, every time, and everything is under the sun. And so we understand all of that. And so, but the revelation of this thing is tonight, amen, that we are the children of God. And the Spirit of God and the authority of God lies on the inside of us. The Spirit himself testifies of our spirit that we are the children of God. Verse 17, if we, if we are his children, we are also God's heirs. If we share, if we share in Christ's suffering in order to share in his glory, we are the heirs together with him. Watch what it says. I consider... Listen what Paul says. He says, I consider our present sufferings is insignificant compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. And this is what we're talking about tonight. What we're going through is insignificant to the power of God that's going to be revealed to us. Hmm. <laughs> Listen, uh, uh, the anointing that you're going to receive out of this pandemic is going to blow your mind. The where God is going to take you out of this pandemic is going to blow your mind. Watch this. He says it's it's insignificant. In, in and what is he saying? That it, 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 in other words, he's saying it really doesn't matter what I'm going through because it, it is not even going to be compared to the glory that's going to be revealed in my life. And that's what we're chasing after tonight. We're chasing after the glory of God. We're chasing after the glory, not only the glory, but the glory to be revealed in us. That's what we're looking for. All creation is eagerly waiting. Watch this. All creation is eagerly waiting on God to reveal who his children are. The creation was subject to frustration, but by, but not by his own choice. And the one who subjected it to the frustration did so in the hope. And that is what also be set free from slavery to decay in order to share the glorious freedom of the children of God will have. We know that all creation has been growing with the pains of childbirth up to the present time. 
However, not only the creation groans, we have the spirit, watch this, we who have the spirit as of the first of God's gift also groan inwardly. And we groan as we eagerly wait for our adoption and freeing our bodies from sin. All right, and so uh, we're, we're eagerly waiting, amen, for God. We're, 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 we're believing and we're eagerly waiting for God, amen, tonight, amen, to put us and bring us into a place. And I want you, amen, to believe with me tonight that you have the authority in the kingdom of God, amen, and God gonna, uh, God's going to bless you, God's going to bring you into a place, amen, Amen. And set a table, amen, before your enemies. He's going to bring you into a place. He's going to bring you out. He's going to bring you on the mountaintop. And, and this is, amen, what we're talking about tonight, your kingdom authority. Realize, amen, in my closing, realize you have kingdom authority. It's time to take your rightful place in the kingdom of God. It's time out, amen, and it's time to believe Amen. In the power of the word of God. It's time to believe in what God said that it will come to pass. All right. And so I thank you for joining tonight. And I want you to, amen, put it in your mind and put it in your heart. No more I'm going to walk, amen, in uh, lack. No more I'm going to uh, walk in not realizing who I am. No more I'm going to uh, be lack in my identity and knowing that the power of God lies on the inside of, uh, uh, of you. Listen to this. This was just uh, dropped from heaven. Imagine you're in one room, amen, and you are poor and you have nothing. But in the next room, amen, is filled with money packed to the ceiling. And you have the authority, amen, you have the power, amen, amen, to move out of the one room to the other room. All right. So what is that authority? That authority is you moving, you getting up, and you're going, and you're opening the door, amen, until you're going to get whatever you need out of that room, and you're not going to be in like anymore. And so what moves you is the ability to think that I can get up, the ability that I can do this, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and I'm going to move to my blessed place. Now, what do you got to do? You got to believe that. You, you got to believe, amen, we're, we're, we're children of, of the light, and we believe we, are, we got a God, amen, that has everything that we need, and it's simply, amen, for the asking. All right, and so we, we're going to move, God's going to move us, God is going to put us in a place, amen, God is going to perfect the things in our life, amen, that he needs to perfect in us, and that's what we're talking about, I want to dwell on that just a little bit, that's what we're talking about, amen, in this incoming season in 2021, Now I want you to join me, December the 31st, amen. I want you to join me on watch night, December the 31st at 10, 10 p.m. And I want you to come expecting God to shift your, shift your life into the next season, shift your life into the, to, into, into blessings, shift your life into miracles. And God is going to perfect Psalms 138 and 8. This is our theme. God is going to perfect what's concerning you. What he's already put inside of you, it's time for it to birth. It's time for you to birth it. It is time for it to come forth. All right? And so with the power of God and with the authority of God, that's what's going to happen. All right? And you're going to be amazed what God is going to do. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard the things that God's got planned for you, woman of God, what God has planned for you, man of God. And so tonight, 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 join me. I want you to get ready. I want you to join me. Amen. Join me December the 31st at 10 p.m. Our watch night crossover service. God's going to bless your life.
God's going to put you in a place, amen, like never before. God is going to take you to the level, amen, that he needs to take you to. All right? And I want you to join me on that night. Amen. My masks are required. We have temperature checks at the door. Amen. Sanitized station throughout the building. We're six feet apart. Well, we want God to touch your life. And I want you to join me December 31st at 10 p.m. And watch God do something great in your life. All right? And we're going to pray right now. And we want God to bless you. We want God, amen, to continue, amen, to bless you on tonight. And we want God to continue to, to use you in an hour like this. How many know we need to be used by God and whatever God is going to do in our life, he's going to do it. Amen. And so we bless God on tonight. We ask God, God to move like never before. And God, we praise you on tonight. We, we grant, God, we ask God that you grant our request on tonight, that you move by your spirit. God, that you move by your power on tonight. God, that you bless us, God, like never before. And God, we give you the praise. God, we give you the glory. God, we give you the honor on tonight. And God, we count it done. We ask you to touch your people. Let them realize their authority in you tonight. Let them realize that you got all power, amen, in your hand. God, let them realize, amen, that they are sons and they are daughters. They are heirs, amen, and joint heirs with you, God. In the precious name of Jesus, whatever God is on your throne, God, they have access to tonight. And we praise it. We command it done in the precious name of Jesus. People of God, I want you, amen. Amen. Don't forget to sow and seed tonight. Amen. Join us. Amen. And watch night service December 31st. Amen. And I want you to continue to join us here on Facebook. Continue to join us on YouTube. Go to our YouTube channel, L-O-T-W-C-I-N-C. All right. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, 24-hour word for you. Amen. And we want you to join us on our prayer line. Our prayer line, Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 728. Join us on our prayer line and watch God do something in your life. Amen. Area code 951-981-7249. 951-981-7249. Continue to listen up on WTAN 1340. Amen. On your AM dial every Sunday morning at 945 to 10 AM. Continue to listen to us. WTAN 1340. Those that are in the Tampa Bay area. WTAN 1340 on your AM dial. Or you can download the Tune Radio app on your phone and listen to us in other cities and watch God do something great in your life. We bless you all tonight. We, we're looking forward to it. We're excited about what God's got in your future. We're excited what God's going to do for you. Amen. We bless you on tonight. We bless you on tonight. We bless you on tonight. And may heaven continue to smile upon you. We send you holiday season, a Merry Christmas, If we don't see you on Christmas. May God, amen, bless you and perform his work in your life and, and, and enjoy your family. Happy holidays. We love you from Life of the World Church, a church where everybody is somebody in Christ is all. God bless you.